Well, tonight we are awaiting the next steps in the Georgia election interference case. During a hearing last week, attorneys for former President Donald Trump and eight of his co-defendants pushed to disqualify Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and her team from trying the case over allegations of misconduct. 11 Lives Grace King joining us live in the studio now. So Grace, I want to say the entire world was watching this testimony. Two days of testimony last week. You were paying very close attention to it. Where do things go from here? Well, that was the evidentiary hearing where both sides presented witnesses and documents to build their case. But next, Judge McAfee will set what's called a summation hearing. That's where both sides will make their arguments to the judge. And then after that, Judge Scott McAfee will have to rule on whether to keep or disqualify District Attorney Fonnie Willis and or Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade. I spoke with former DeKalb County DA Robert James about the likelihood of that. It is a lot. It is, it is a lot. As tensions flared in the Fulton County Courthouse, former DeKalb County District Attorney Robert James listened closely. A lot of drama. A lot of bombshells, a lot of entertainment for, for some people, depending on your perspective or take. But ultimately, the issue is whether or not DA Fonny Willis financially benefited from hiring Nathan Wade. To him, the two days of testimony from District Attorney Fonny Willis, Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade, and about half a dozen others didn't show proof of a conflict or even the appearance of such. In this case, that impropriety has to be financial benefit, financial gain, and not the fact that they were having a romantic relationship. You know, it can't just be related, it's gotta be proof, and the defendants have the burden of showing that DA Fonnie Willis financially benefited. She doesn't have to prove anything or disprove anything. What could matter is when the Wade-Willis relationship started. The judge, you know, wants to look at, you know, when financial gain may have started and whether or not that happened when she was making the hire. A man who may know that answer is Terrence Bradley, Nathan Wade's former law partner and one-time divorce attorney. I did not have personal knowledge. Bradley claims almost everything he knows about the relationship is protected by attorney-client privilege. But a late afternoon exchange Friday prompted Judge Scott McAfee to re-examine whether his privilege applies. When asked by the state, he went into a factual scenario that, to my mind, I don't see how it relates to privilege at all. And so now I'm left wondering if Mr. Bradley has been properly interpreting privilege this entire time. Now that outstanding question will determine whether Bradley will be called back to the stand before oral arguments begin. As for when this could all happen, Judge Scott McAfee says he anticipates this case will be back on court on Friday or next week. All right, Grace, thank you. And for the latest on the hearings from last week and this investigation, text the name Fonny Willis to the number on your screen. It's 404-885-7600.